Ja. Thank you so much for having us aboard and showing us your home. You're more than welcome. <laughs> what year was this boat made? 1983. 1983, wow. Yes. This is the little galley, yeah, with the gas here and the fridge is here and the sink. And that's the Charles table here. Yeah. I just had this brand new book of the Scottish Islands oh, that wow. I will read very soon. And that's my uh, navigation guide. <laughs> And there we got the panel, the electric panel for uh, 12 volts and 2200 volts. And wow. there you got all the switch for the AI, SVHF instruments, GPS. Hmm. Uh, the GPS here and the VHF is here <laughs> behind all the sunglasses because you need sunglasses <laughs> when you're sailing in Scotland. And your barometer. Yeah, there it is. And you keep this wrench there for... Do you, what do you use that for? It's because you always need to grab it quick, uh, quickly when you need to do something. So there's always one screwdriver and uh, a knife and this. Aye. And a good little knife here. Easy access things. Yeah, right at the companionway where you might need exactly. it before running you just out. Get it from it from outside as well. So it's it's cool. That's all the I, pictures I, of the people we've met, or the crew members, or all the nice memories. This was taken in Brittany years ago. Those people, we met them in Ireland this year. So, my best friend here from south of France. He's our oh, friend, yeah. he's making honey in France. We're a very nice family from South Connemara here. Aaron, when he was a little boy. And yeah, all the all the friends, friends and family keep us close. Wow. And and so love... this is like the living space. Yeah. So this is normally you can open the table and so on, but since we have Aran, uh he rather that's his area oh. playing all his toys and books are there. Wow, that's so his he can room. grab them and, and play here. That's mostly his area. It looks perfect for uh, that. but we use it to eat as well. Like yeah. We just eat around the table here. Wow. Underneath, there's all the all the food here. Yeah. There and there. That's all the food. And um, what else? That's Aaron's bed. Oh, nice. So all the nappies and the things for the baby are here. And you got this useful net that you put here and there, so he's safe inside. Wow. And. All the teddy bears. Oh there. yeah. <laughs> so that's where he is when you're when you're moving the boat when yeah, you're sailing. Well, all the time, every night. I mean, he sleeps there every night, and when we are sailing and he's sleeping, he sleeps in there. When it's too bouncy, uh, we'd rather put him in the in the back cabin, oh. which is um, the back cabin is the most stable part of the boat. And when it's really bouncy, he's he's going to have his nap or even play there yep. instead of here, because here it's too bad, Aye. and it's even worse in the front. Hello. Hello. It's so beautiful. So that's Aaron and the cat playing. <laughs> and there is some storage here with the uh, sailing jackets and stuff. This area here yes. is all my sound system. Sound system? So yeah, all inside. That's the safest part oh. of the boat. Like it's really dry. There's yeah. never a leak or whatever. Oh. So that's where I store my Bose sound system and my sound table and all the wires and everything oh. that I need. So when I want to make a concert, I take it all out. Yeah. But it all fits in that this tiny thing. So it's... Aaron wants to show you the oh. two beautiful toys that he's oh, got. Oh, that's cute. Nice friends on board. <laughs> that's great. <laughs> very, very nice. Tu, tu retournes sur ton canapé parce que je veux ouvrir là pour montrer au monsieur. Oh, there you go. <laughs> so, so all the sound system is here. So you got the amplifiers there. And the sound table, the CDs. Who is this? Arthur Rimbaud, he's my favorite poet. Ah. Uh, he's a poet from the 18th century in France. 
and he inspired me my whole life. And this portrait has been made by a fabulous artist in Ireland for my 18th birthday. He drew that portrait and so I kept that on board all the time. <laughs> That's wonderful. Oh, here's a Ford cabin v berth. It's just beautiful. And the head between the Ford cabin and the salon. So they're mostly poets and sailors and travel books. Tu veux ah tu veux montrer le petit bateau? That's my grandfather's boat. Oh, there is a treasure there. Wow. Beautiful. <coughs> wow. Wow. That's beautiful. Thank you. Britain, Britain oh, old rigging. Look at this. And Who's that? Picasson. <laughs> Picasson is his name. Oh, yeah. He's <laughs> so cute. <laughs> Thank you. Merci. Oh. Yeah, he's showing you all the time. <laughs> look what I have. Hey, look at that. He's so cute. Oh, wow. Thank you. Je mets le trésor dans la poche de maison. So yeah, really precious area, the Aye. books. That's a map from the west of Ireland. I must admit it, it's maybe my favorite part of the world. <laughs> so I decided to stock these charts uh, into the boat. So it's, it's a part, it's of, the part of the boat now. West Connemara, Clifton and Manin Bay area. <sighs> Oh, I'm going, going to, to bed. bed. <laughs> oh, he's grabbing all his friends. Ah, oh, those Whoa. are the stolen away friends. Really? Yes, stolen <laughs> away friends. So the puffin and the crab. Wow. The two okay. new friends from Stunaway. <laughs> if we get a new friend at every port of call, you can imagine the mess that's oh. in there. <laughs> what? So yeah. What a beautiful boat. It is. I, I love the ceiling and painted white. And I love it's the, enough. yeah, it's bright and airy, and very comfortable. Then you can see there we have some leak uh, oh, yeah. problems there. Oh at yeah, the, here and well, all those kind of things that we need to uh, figure out and fix. And this, yeah. winter, this winter, this we winter, we have a list like that. Really, what are some of the major things that you're planning on doing well, over the winter? A refit of the deck because the teak has been screwed into the deck, so it's guides the water into the bouncy core of the deck which is not good right so we have to do all the joints again take all the um, the screws off yeah. and what well, refit the deck mainly and then we, we would like to make a, a hard top cover uh on the cockpit yes because we've had enough uh rain yes. <laughs> and it's it's it would be nice to be able to go from here to the back cabin without being in under the pouring yeah. rain oh, and, and even steering oh, and being a bit sheltered oh you put all your friends in the boat. in the boat <laughs> what is that donkey doing at the top mast <laughs> we have to paint the mast Repaint the mast. Repaint the. Many work on the engine. That's my hobby. Yeah, <laughs> so you'll be busy over this winter on the boat, work, oh, yeah. working on the boat. All winter. Uh, and you'll winter. do that in Brittany. Yeah. 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 We have there. We have the shipyard there, and many connections as well on both, like people who works on fiberglass or whatever sails or so mm. many connections of people uh, who can work as well with us or give us a hand or... so and then we'll be able to live close by the boat free and and to be nearby right. the, the past two years the boat wintered in ireland and we were in france right and with the covid and things it was so hard to go back on board and in winter time with a boat on the shipyard outside it was impossible to do any proper work so it's good to have six or seven months ahead yep. with the boat sheltered that you can really like work on it properly do you want to yes. have a look at the back cabin sure thank you the engine room yeah. so 
that's the bad cabin. Wonderful. So Lily is uh, sleeping in here at the moment. You can cool. come in. So oh, whoever sleeps so in the bad nice. cabin sleeps with the piano. With the piano. So if you are inspired at night, you can just open the piano and play. <laughs> From <Light>. bed. <laughs> From bed. And I turn this space into my recording studio when I want to record or to rehearse or work on my music. The bed is turned into a kind of a band and I have all my tools for um, repairing the piano here mm. whenever there's a key problem or a mechanical problem and on the other um, hand there is um, my uh, studio microphones and uh, whatever um, tools for tuning some wires as well uh, sound wires so it's all dedicated to music those two ones wow. and the rest of it is a living space and it's the spaciest uh, room recording studio and crew quarters yeah. Wow, and exactly. I love the windows on the stern. The yeah. ports are so large. It's so large and when you're sleeping here and the sun hits the windows in the morning, it's stunning. It's really nice. So this, this is what it... That is up. just a guide. Mm -hmm. uh, so there's one here, one there. And it's guiding the piano straight so that the piano goes up straight. But the thing that is actually lifting the piano is the spectra here. Huh? And there's the same on the other side. And it's linked into um, an electric winch that is underneath that. Huh. Wow. Yeah. It's just a winch. It's that... a winch wow. underneath the piano that's lift the piano up. Do you know of anyone else that has an acoustic piano on a sailboat? Do you think you're the Not only on one? Not on a sailboat of that size. Yeah. I heard of another boat that was built around a grand piano. But again, the piano couldn't get out. Right. So you couldn't play for any audience. You just play for yourself. And my purpose was to play for the people. And obviously in that cabin, you can not fit more than two or three people. So it has to be lift it on the deck for the people to see and listen to it. I think it's mm. it may be the only only thing like this on any boat of this size in, <laughs> in the world. So. Yeah. <laughs> it is so. And this was your your original idea to do this. You just yeah. what was it like when you first came up with the idea? Did it develop over time or like being a musician and starting to be a sailor and combining the two it came slowly but surely when I was young and then at some point I just made myself a promise to achieve that dream. I had the idea of it and I went like, no, let's do it. And I focused on that for many years to wow. be able to achieve it. And there we are! <laughs> and it's real and every morning I wake up and I see the piano in the back cabin and I'm just like, this is fucking real. <laughs> and this is great. Uh, so life jackets here. All the... Um, Safety things are here, so easy to grab from outside. Right. And that's it. Uh, okay. Car seat for the baby. It, and is that where it stays? Is that where you keep it? Is well, during the maneuver especially, because most of the time he's got his life jacket, he's tied to the lifeline right. here, so he can walk around and he's fine. But during the maneuver, we really don't want to uh, keep an eye on him, so we need to have somewhere really safe so we can focus on actually doing the rope things and the maneuver so i'd like to steer and to know that he is attached in there right. and that is attached to the boat right. so i can keep an eye on him but in the meantime i can maneuver the boat for a while go back to him but i know he's safe he cannot move so it's it was my fear when i started sailing that if i turn my eyes to focus on something else and then turn back and where is aaron and i i couldn't bear that vision so i was like we need to find a solution and it came up like car seat car seat so he's he's so, strapped in he's yeah. not going anywhere he's not going anywhere <laughs> and actually it's nice because he knows when i say aaron now we start maneuvering he goes straight into there. I attach him, I tie him there, and 
It would not move. Do you um, want to see the engine? Yes, please. So the engine room is in the center and there's no passageway through no. the boat. It seemed very soundproofed. It, it felt pretty quiet. Yeah. Yeah. So that's buck 48 horsepower. 48 horsepower. Mm. Wow. It's not much, but it's enough yeah. for the boat. How much does the boat weigh? Uh, 12 tons. 12 tons. So it looks like you have good access all around the engine. You can exactly. climb down there and exactly. get all around and inspect it. It's you know? really good access. Yeah. So it's really, really nice for that. Yeah. Thank you very much. That is wonderful. You're welcome.